time to show you my cabin in the woods. It's so cute. Okay, we have a little bit of a walk to the house. It's about 400 meters from the road, which is uh, just a little gravel road with some houses on it and lots of forest. And it leads to this little cabin. Look at that. How cute is that? Surrounded by trees. It's set up to be a summer house, but it has electricity. Um, there's summer water. There's a water well on the property. And that's about it. I have this bit of land. It's about 2,300 square meters. So basically it's just a large garden. Some of these trees surrounding it are mine, but most of it is owned by other people who have the plots of land around here. I am going to take you inside and show you around. Uh, let's start with this little guest house. There's a tiny guest house on here. which is currently housing my little bicycle. But other than that, it is very small and definitely needs a bit of love to make it more fun and likeable. There is technically electricity, but it's not connected, which is a bit odd, but that's okay. I have to figure that out. So this is kind of showing the garden, the house. This is the water pump in here. This needs to be insulated for winter. The pipes need to be buried. There's a bit of grass here which isn't being used and I'm very much thinking about making a bathroom here. This, it doesn't have a bathroom. So we do however have an outhouse. So let me show you the outhouse. To be very honest, I've been here for about two weeks and I haven't used it yet. Look at that. I mean, that's sort of cute, isn't it? Could be a lot worse. I definitely need to clean it and I'll have to use it because I can't continue to go into the woods forever. <laughs> so this is the back of the property. That's the house. There is another little shed here which is basically just empty. That's also an outdoor shower. So the shower isn't working and the boiler um, it's very old and definitely doesn't work, but I'm thinking of connecting a new electrical shower so I can actually use it because that will be quite nice. For some reason the power isn't working either and I don't know why, but I should be able to fix that. Then I can have luxury showers outdoors. I would like to highlight my favourite tree as well. I actually realised how much I love pine trees. So that's my favourite tree and it's actually on my land. Behind there is a nature reserve which is amazing because people in Sweden love to cut down trees and no one can cut down those trees. It's just lovely. It's the back of the house. There's another entrance into the house here. It's got three entrances, which makes no sense. Anyways, there's an apple tree, which is just the cutest. I mean, look at that. 
It's actually not doing too well. I think I need to save this plant somehow. It's covered in this stuff, which is not a good sign when it comes to being on a living tree. This down here is actually part of a nature reserve, which is really nice. And it basically goes up to behind the shed. Here we have the other side of the house, which also includes another entrance. So it's got three entrances. I don't know why. Anyways, I'm thinking vegetable garden over there, greenhouse over there. But let's go inside. Okay, so apparently back in the day there were two families living in these houses, one on that side and one on that side. I've been here for two weeks. It's pretty much empty. I sleep on the floor. I put garden furniture inside to sit on. So that's me sleeping on the floor. It's not very glamorous. So this is the first room which has a fireplace. And now these fireplaces need to get checked and the chimney is sort of falling apart so that definitely needs to be fixed. And then this goes into what used to be an old kitchen. Now that's the other entrance and this is where there's actually quite a bit of damage to the wall. This is technically an extension and the roof on it hasn't been made properly so water has been leaking inside and that's something I need to replace and that bit of wall definitely needs to be fixed. Now I actually want to open this up but I'll show you the other side first. So this is the other room. This gets really nice morning sun on that side and then it moves around in that direction and the kitchen is here. It has an old stove it would be amazing if I can get the fireplace and the stove to work again so I can use those for heat. My thoughts are to get rid of that wall so I can create one continuous kitchen and actually put a bathroom inside because there is no bathroom. And I want to create a window here instead of a door because I don't need a third entrance. If I get amazing morning light here, then I could have a sink with a window and that would be gorgeous. So there's actually also an upstairs which is hidden behind here. It is completely unfinished and it's also a little bit terrifying. It's a great space though. So you can see that this is the chimney for the stove, which is connected to the chimney for the fireplace. I have no idea whether this is a normal thing to do. And behind there is the extension. There's also bits of this floor which are just hovering. The floor joists are really spaced out quite far from each other. There's one here and then the other one is there, which shouldn't be the case. We have a very old-fashioned electricity box 
thing, whatever you call it. And my plan is actually to turn this staircase around. Because of this, this <laughs> fireplace connection, it sort of limits your head height. Um, by the way, look at these cracks. Um, yeah, this fireplace thing is absolutely terrifying me. But if I turn that staircase around, then you come up here and you can basically turn it into two areas. And I could even have a guest room as well. And a bedroom. But this is this is very much a next year project because there is so much to do downstairs. So upstairs the attic is for next year. And first we focus on downstairs. Okay, so I've been here for two weeks and I haven't really done much at all. I've done some cleaning, um, I bought some homeware. Basically, I don't have a car, I have a bicycle and I can't transport things or buy power tools or get large pieces of wood here. So I'm waiting for my parents to come and in a week they are going to be here and we're going to tackle some of the big renovation ideas that I have and I'm basically trying to figure out what's a priority and what isn't. I'm mainly going to focus on the kitchen areas in the back to pull those together, create one space um, because that also includes a new kitchen counter, new sink, tap, changing the drainage around. So basically right now the water runs through a pipe on top of the grass from the water well into the kitchen through the outside wall and I need to bury these pipes, add a heat tape, um, <laughs> now basically we'll be digging a trench and buying lots of different pipes and hopefully do it the right way so I have water during winter because I really want to live here all year long. I also decided that I need a toilet inside. Now at first I wasn't going to. My plan is to create a separate bathroom building with a bathtub and a huge glass window where you can look outside into nature which is next year's project because I don't have time or money to do this or experience building a brand new building. My plan was just to use a toilet outside and not bother because we're in Sweden. People have outhouses, that's normal. And I really like the idea of just roughing it a bit. Um, until one night I drank loads of tea and I needed to go to the bathroom continuously and it was a bit chilly and I realized that actually having a bathroom inside is quite a good idea. So in the blue room, the window which has the water damage, I actually plan to take out the window, put a compost toilet there which needs to have a link to the outside, put that window in the other kitchen where the third entrance is which means that I have more light in my kitchen. Yeah, this makes sense. I think I need to go and pick more blueberries. Enjoy your day.